Next, we'll be starting episode one practice, brief breathing space with awareness, acceptance, and choice. Before we get into it, I want you to know that distraction and the mind wandering is inevitable and natural. The practice isn't attempting necessarily to sustain attention, but is actually the practice of noticing where your mind is, existing with it, and then choosing where you want it to be in the next moment and doing that over and over and over again. If you're present for half of a moment before you get distracted, that's okay. If you recognize you've been distracted for several minutes, that's okay. Just notice where your mind is in that moment, accept it, and then direct your attention back again to where you want it to be. This is an adaptation of a three-minute breathing space meditation. Three-minute breathing space meditation can be found for free on the Center for Mindfulness Studies app, as well as a variety of other apps, as well as easily accessible to find on YouTube. I have a link for a YouTube video, The Breathing Space by John Kabat-Zinn, and both are available in the episode notes and citations. If at any time any aspect of the experience feels too uncomfortable or overwhelming, please respect your window of tolerance. If your eyes are closed, open them and consider a proactive activity that can support returning to your window of tolerance or using the episode one window of tolerance grounding exercises podcast recording for support and guidance of potential options. Take a moment to get into a comfortable posture where you feel awake and alert. You can choose to close the eyes or to keep them open, whatever feels the most comfortable for you. Closing your eyes may heighten your senses. Whether you're sitting or lying down, feel your body connected with the stable surface that you're resting on. Whatever your position, attempt to set your posture in ways that can increase alertness and confidence. Maybe having your shoulders slightly drawn back, head upright as if you're balancing a plate on the top of your head. Bringing awareness first to noticing and relaxing the forehead. Relaxing the eyes, noticing the mouth, the jaw, breathing in and out, and attempting to relax those spaces. Your shoulders. Relaxing the arms and the hands, the hips, legs, and the feet. Relaxing your abdominal muscles, bring your attention to noticing the air coming in through your nose the sensations of air going down your throat, filling your lungs with a relaxed in-breath, allowing the belly to expand, and then following the air back out through your nose again on the out-breath. Shifting your mental camera lens, your attention, on what's going on inside, Bring your attention to what is present in this moment. Whatever first initially pulls your attention. Attempt to notice your experiences as mental or physical events you're just putting words to in the most simple of terms. After acknowledging whatever arises, gently letting it go, like it's a leaf you're setting back in the stream, and kindly see what comes next into your awareness. Now take a moment to shift the attention back to your breath, relaxing your stomach muscles 
and bringing your awareness and focus to the in and out of the breath. The belly filling with air to the point it feels natural and then noticing the exhale of the breath. If your mind becomes distracted with thoughts, emotions, or other physical sensations, once you notice your mind is away from your breath, accept it and kindly, gently redirect your attention back to the breath and the awareness of air entering and leaving the belly. Now, choosing to direct your attention back to expanding awareness to the whole body again and including the breath. Noticing physical sensations, thoughts, and emotions as they arise. Panning your mental camera on whatever comes up and adding a gentle breath in your noticing. Noticing a thought, emotion, physical sensation, image, memory, future worry. Breathe it in and letting it go down the stream. Breathing into the next sensation and letting it go. Bringing your attention back to the present, opening your eyes if they were closed, and see if you can bring this expanded awareness now to the next moments of your life. Bringing yourself back from this brief practice, what did you notice before starting? What did you notice now after completing it? There's no right or wrong here, although if this is very new for you, it's normal if you feel uncertain or have a lot of judgments or questions popping up. I encourage you that if you have the ability, keep a log or journal of these experiences to reflect back on. The practice is noticing and being with whatever is there, seeing it, accepting it, and then choosing where you want to be in the next moment nothing more. Trying to be able to be with yourself in whatever you notice, whether it's comfortable or uncomfortable with a curiosity, it takes effort. We'll talk about these concepts I'm describing in more detail in future episodes. You can continue to the next episode or maybe give yourself a few days to explore this a little bit more before you do. Whatever you choose to do is okay.